Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Amartya Rupani, and in today's video, I am going to clarify some of the confusions regarding Yukon Pilot Program. And guys, I recently uploaded its video at my channel, and most of you have similar kind of questions, such as is language proficiency required, or do we need to submit ECA report for the education? Or is it okay to just have a one full-time job offer instead of two to three offers and stuff like this? I contacted IRCC and they sent me all this information through email that I'm going to show you shortly. So without wasting any time, let's just start. Okay, so this is the information that I got from Yukon government and guys, it shows all the requirements uh, for Yukon community pilot program such as they said the program is available to businesses in designated communities whose operations are seasonal or cannot provide full-time employment. This means this program is launched for those employers who do not qualify for any nominee stream of Yukon because for each nominee stream, the applicant must have a full-time job offer from the employer. So some of the employers cannot give you full hours and this is the reason Yukon government has launched this program so that they can fill those job positions with foreign workers. Now let's move on to the number of steps to apply to this program. Now this is the application process to apply for both Yukon nominee program as well as Yukon community pilot program. Now step number one we covered already that you need two or three job offers from Yukon employer for Yukon community pilot program. Step number two it says employer agrees to nominate the foreign worker that means you need a nomination letter. Now let's move on to the third requirement which is language test, education and your work experience. It says you must take an English or French language test to prove your language proficiency. That means guys answer to your question. Yes, IELTS is must. Let's move on to the education requirement and it says you can apply to this program if you have grade 12 or higher education. And of course, you need to provide ECA reports for all your certificates and diplomas or degrees. Next requirement is your work experience and guys it has to be one year and it must be paid work experience directly related to the field in which you are applying to. Step number four is for employer that they need to submit your application to Yukon Immigration and the next step for you to wait for a decision and the application processing time is 12 to 14 weeks and once your application is approved you will receive a letter of support from Yukon Immigration and that you will have to submit with your work permit application to IRCC and once it is approved you will obtain a work permit and then the next step will be signing the tripartite agreement. And finally, you can apply for permanent residence within six months of signing that agreement. Okay, guys, so that was all about Yukon Community Pilot Program. And I hope it answered all of your questions and cleared your confusions. And guys, the complete application process to apply to this program, I've already explained in my previous video. And the link is given in the description box below. You can check that out. Okay, so that was quick video for today and if you have any other questions, please let me know in the comment box. I will be more than happy to answer them as soon as possible. And guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe my channel because there is a lot more coming up for you guys till then. You take care and I will see you again.